Alright, alright, hello everyone and now welcome to a game between WFZ or WFZ going up against Xiao Xi Xi. This game taking place here on Echo Isle. WFZ spotting as the red undead player over here on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile over here on the top left we have Xiao Xi Xi spawning as the blue night elf. Night elf versus undead in this 1v1 matchup on Echo Isle. And Echo Isle, as many of you guys know, is a rather small map. And we'll see what um, what happens on this map. This map ends up having a lot more action and a lot of things, um, a, a lot of things happening on it, and very limited resources. And um, if games do go long, what ends up happening is players who are able to effectively stay in no upkeep longer tend to win. Um, there is also an, um, the off chance that players are able to establish and able to take their opponent's gold mine for a little bit of time. If you're able to mine from your opponent's gold mine, that ends up giving you a very big advantage because every every a bit of gold you get out of this gold mine is denying your opponent gold as well. We'll see how all of this unfolds as it is an Ancient of War close to that mercenary camp and it is going to be a demon hunter Summon going up against well, Death Knight and what looks to be ghouls. Can I ask you what you think about the balance between the races? I think right now that the game uh, Warcraft 3 has been in a much better place than it has been in years. Um, oh, we've been seeing a lot more, a lot of different strategies coming across and uh, undead and human generally i find are are the better races but then again um moon tends to do very very well so you you almost got to take the player out of the equation sometimes because otherwise the player can often well dictate what's going to be happening here all right for sure shadow priest trying to get some damage onto there there's a lightning shield damage going now onto some of those units are we going to see a death of a wisp there goes one wisp getting taken down another wisp could get taken down here for sure shadow priest tries to finish it off and i believe that was that a deny on the experience i can't really tell death knight now trying to make its way forward death knight does have a little bit right there and death knight gets into harm's way as this for, well forest troll shadow priest is trying to catch up here or is trying to get away getting a little bit of a speed boost by that unholy or a forest troll shadow priest in a massive run trying to head back here and the death knight we're gonna try and slip forward is the forest troll shadow priest yes coming purposely cutting through and the death knight well able to get enough distance for that forest troll shadow priest to return home all right hi hey how is everyone doing forest troll shadow priest back now on blight and diving into an undead base is rather scary as the demon hunter sees this as a perfect opportunity to knock on knock on the door of this tomb of relics hey captain um hey chaos how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are all having a good time. And Death Knight looking to finish off some more units here. Finally using that Rod of Necromancy. And going to be putting some pressure inside this Night Elf base. No Dust of Appearance, however, for the Death Knight. So that means that the Skeletal Millions can only harass here. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter looking to get some extra damage or and disrupt the mining or the, the creeping experience here. As you can see, the damage on that Demon Hunter getting rather high. Let's take a look who is going to end up getting the shot there. Oh, uh, unfortunate ensnare on to two ghouls. And the Demon Hunter may actually be able to get both of these ghouls here. That is a very, very big deal indeed. Now that ghoul trying to make its way back. And the Demon Hunter, however, does shut down one ghoul there. Thank you, Hannibal, for that subscription. Every subscription does definitely help. Um, you know, trying to do any sort of side gig right now seems to be a very, very important thing since, well, so much is uncertain. So, yeah, every little, every view, every like, every comment, every subscriber, both on YouTube and on Twitch, definitely helps me out. Thank you very much. Back, coming back down across here, Death Knight looking to go after this Ogre Magi here. Are we going to perhaps see a little bit of healing go down? No, no healing. Just actually engaging here. The Skeletal Minions are attacking that Ogre Magi without much uh, much of a problem. The Ogre Warriors are just far too big to actually get close enough there. Death Knight going to pick up a potion of invulnerability and perhaps be able to slip away. Thank you, Pong, once again for the sub as well. 
Death Knight now looking to um, head back here. We'll see where they are going to be going next as the Demon Hunter looking to finish off. Well, um, all right. I don't know if someone just gifted out a whole bunch of subs. But if you did, thank you very much. Or unless this is some sort of sub train, um, which, well, is just as nice across multiple people. Nick, thank you for the sub. Um, at this point, I got to believe that someone gifted out a lot of subs. Um, thank you for thank you for those subs and definitely helps out and hopefully I'll be able to continue and do provide more content for you guys. Skeletal Minion is making its way back through Naga Sea, which has been hired up by the Night Elf Army. Um, yep, that's that's a lot of subs. Um, yet yeah, it does definitely seem that way. Demon Hunter now trying to make its way back across here. Um, thank you. Hannibal's that is very very helpful demon hunter naga see which here ready to go gonna focus on the game now um, But yeah, I gotta say thank you death knight now making its way back over big damage coming across However, the death knight able to steal that bit of experience and all of these little skirmishes and um, really trying to just set you up for this next battle that demon hunter has um, a surprisingly large number of hit points Normally, the Demon Hunter's armor is that is the best attribute, but with the pure up of vitality and a plus four across every single stat, that's an extra 250 hit points plus bonus regeneration that um, you've got to account for. Now, I am expecting to see a Staff of Teleportation and a Staff of Preservation. Um, staff of Teleportation on that Demon Hunter, Staff of Preservation on the Naga Sea Witch. That, that way, you are leveraging more of that hit points on that demon Someone hunter being able to stab complete. him out and then have him teleport back into that battle coming back down around mana burn onto the forest troll shadow priest that forest troll shadow priest days are pretty much numbered meanwhile naga sea witch ta has a lot of mana as well a couple of skeletal minions will get left behind here as the demon hunter goes back around once more level three level one demon hunter naga sea witch going up against a level two death knight and a level one Naga Sea Witch by WFZ. All right, Shao Shi Shi, what he's going to be trying to do here, he's trying to get some damage without exposing his units too much. And what, what WFZ may, uh, may be forgetting is that those skeletal minions, although they don't offer that much experience, you don't want to be just um, throwing experience at your opponent's heroes. By doing so, you end up having a bigger, more difficult um, hill to climb back out of as we are looking at the expansion now coming in from the Night Elf. Black Citadel is done for WFZ. Meanwhile, the expansion, let's take a look. Uh, we are looking at 39 supplies, so it is still about the same. Both players still, excuse me, in no upkeep as well, getting every ounce of gold and by keeping their population low. Death Knight, Naga Sea Witch here, ready to get in on that action. Ogre Magi, 533 three, Creep Camp will get cleared up. However, it's more important that Shao Shi Shi is clearing these center, uh, these center Creep Camps. These center Creep Camps are a little bit more contested, but if you're able to grab this one and um, the, the remaining Ogre Warriors and Forest Troll Trappers, that is still experience that you are essentially taking away from your opponent. Coming back around on the other side here, Death Knight, Force Troll, Shadow Priest, Crypt Fiends, Obsidian Statues making their way over. There is that gold mine as well as the Lich being acted as the third hero instead picks up an Orb of Corruption. All right. Um, not not very often you hear a 2-1-1 tri-hero combination, but that's exactly what we have right here. The Death Knight and the Naga Sea Witch, um, both still very low on level. Meanwhile, the Death Knight actually, because of that low level, may have a little bit of a, 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 ba a hard and difficult time. Death Knight, where is he going to go? Down to 196 hit points. Is he going to get taken down to Mana Burn? Oh, Slow Poison may come across there as they're now going after the Naga Sea Witch. Naga Sea Witch co comes in with a Potion of Invulnerability instead. Damage going back onto the side. Opposing Naga Sea Witch may get taken down. Are we going to see a Scroll of Town Portal? No, we do not. Demon Hunter still fighting here. Well, both sides are trying to fight their way through, and this is a tough spot. Demon Hunter going to end up getting taken down as well. And all of a sudden, WFZ is smelling like roses after finishing off getting level 3 on his Death Knight. Naga Sea Witch gets up to level 2. And, and Shao Shi Shi just seemed to all of a sudden said thank you for all the experience. 
now I'm going to give some back to you as the archers are going to get taken down here. All right, archer taken down there. Druid of the Claw trying to retreat back as well. There is mastery training. However, stopping this uh, tree of life is also a very, very important. You don't want your opponent to have essentially a, a, a free economic advantage. Panda, or not Panda, Druid of the Claw is here. Rejuvenation. Are we going to get a Devour Magic? Oh, yep. Devour Magic finished right there. Could have gone straight for this Druid of the Claw. Couple of easy shots right there. Down to 51 hit points. Uh, two shots or one more shot should end up doing it. Just needs to cut across and then uh, finish off the distance there. The Druid of the Claw doesn't really stand a chance. One more shot. There it goes. Four supply unit lost. Death Knight is at three. Lich is also at two. And all of a sudden, in the course of two minutes, a 2 1 1 tri hero turns into a 3 2 2. Obsidian statue is here as well. And, well, we are looking at the WFZ in the driver's seat of this game, even though he is behind economically. Obsidian statue slips its way through once more. Double obsidian statues, one providing hit points and mana should have no problem shutting down this tree of life and this is the problem when you try to expand and only have 40 supply you end up not having an army large enough to really protect all of your interests on the map death knight now trying to slip back here mana burn onto the manga sea which uh, we're looking at Druid of the Cloud trying to slip away demon hunter has a rejuvenation uh, uh, no that was quickly devoured again as the death knight still wandering around here units are falling left and right crypt fiend falling as well and who is actually going to come out on top naga sea witch is easily taken down since it cannot really benefit oh death knight could get taken down now is the death knight going to get locked down to 52 24 hit points it gets taken down and oh, now shall she she in an impressive situation, holding on to his expansion, taking out his opponent's level 3 Death Knight, and now ready for the counter-offensive to perhaps shut down his opponent's attempt at an expansion as well. All right, lead changes in any game is perhaps when games are most exciting, and so far we've had a number of lead changes here. Um, Wisp quickly going to get taken oh, down there after a detonation. Attacks. Meanwhile, Dryad's going to be able to poke apart this haunted gold mine before it is up and running. Death Knight, Lich, Naga Siewicz all here ready to go. We see a cancellation on that expansion. Still have about 10 and a half minutes of mining left in the main bases. Come on, where is where does it say the amount of gold? All right, right there, 6,200. About the same as well. Meanwhile, Acolyte still scouting out, making sure that this expansion... Or uh, Wisp is down here, making sure that that expansion is not going to be set up. All right, Shao Shi Shi. Let's take a look. Um, nope, that's not Shao Shi Shi. This is Shao Shi Shi. Seen at 55 over 60 supply. He is in low upkeep right now, so he is getting a little bit less gold. Hi, Arya. Can I help you? Um, you can you can have some you, the the little crispies the little French's fried onion crispies. What what the dumpling? Yeah you you can have the yeah you can have them. I will I I can't right now. And you're watching my screen instead of really talking to me. All right, destroyers now making their way back over across here. Gargantuan sea turtle um, easily gonna get cleared up. I thought that was gonna be a, a fast like. My daughters know that I'm doing something live, right? They, 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 they should know it's fast, but as I watch the eyes of my daughter, I realize, wait, she's actually watching um, this particular match just like I am. All right, Gargantuan Sea Turtle down to 94 hit points, actually getting in some bonus damage here. Demon Hunter trying to escape back out. Gargantuan Sea Turtle going to get finished off. There it goes. Experience now for the, uh, well, 333 three, three heroes. Demon Hunter now going to be in a little bit of trouble. Level 4 Demon Hunter, level 3 Naga Sea Witch going up against what is soon to be um, a level 4 um, a level four Death Knight. Yeah, H Hannibal's um, really, really gave out a whole bunch of subs. Thank you very much. Demon Hunter now looking to back up again. Where is it going to try and head back to? Big, big issues there. Demon Hunter well, gets a mana burn onto the Naga Sea Witch, but suffers a terrible, terrible amount of damage for doing just that. Still, Haunted Goldmine about to be finished here. Perhaps a Necropolis Somebody will get finished is. as we are looking finally WFZ setting up his expansion over here on the bottom right. 
Bears now trying to make their way back here, sitting at 0 0 upgrades. Dryad, Demon Hunter here, ready to go. Orb of Venom getting in that damage over time. However, Obsidian Statues will quickly erase all of that away, anyways. We are looking at Dryads and Bears going up against Destroyers, Crypt Fiends, Abominations, and Obsidian Statues. Pretty much what you would expect from an Undead versus Night Elf matchup. But now we have the Mountain Giant thrown in there as well. Demon Hunter coming across Mana Burn onto the Lich. Devour Magic removing the Demon Hunter's... Uh, the Demon Hunter's Rejuvenation. Staff of Preservation saving from the Naga Sea Witch. Staff of Teleportation is on that Demon Hunter so that he will be able to get out of the fight and get back in in a moment's notice. However, low hit point, Druid to the Claw, unable to be saved. Death Knight gets up to level 4 and gets a Death Coil onto the Abomination for a save there. Burrow not in time. Um, as we're continuing the fight back again. All right, Mountain Giant here, ready to go. Destroyers trying to go after the Mountain Giant, but the Mountain Giant actually rather immune to the or, or resistant to the damage of those destroyers as a staff of preservation saves at the very last possible second. Low hit point mountain giant, however, draining all of those moon wells. And this is going to be those situations where the demon hunter is going to be forced to use a lot of moonstones to keep those um, to keep those moon wells all full. You can take a look at this. Um, only one moon well or two moon wells have any sign of mana left. And this is just at daybreak of the current day. It's going to be quite some time before those moon wells can get filled back up. And because of that, well, things can go from bad to worse fairly fast. All right. Are we going to see Oviat Moon? Um, what that was... Um, a pure up of vitality and circuit of nobility drop. Drew to the claw perhaps could have just taken the mana and used oh, a rejuvenation oh, instead. I don't know if a re I would think that a rejuvenation um, off of a off of a bear using the mana for that is better than just trying to use the mana for hit points on a demon hunter, especially if the demon hunter needs to refill a little bit of mana as well. Gargantuan Sea Turtle about to get finished off here. Made all major creep camps have been cleared up. Only some level three creep camps and level three and level one creeps remaining on the map now. As we see a pendant of energy, well, gonna be picked up by the Naga Sea Witch, and that's gonna push her. Wait, wait, why? No, no, Naga Sea Witch. That's a pendant of energy. All right, Pendant of Energy left behind. We'll see if Xiao Shi Shi realizes that uh, uh, and becomes a bit um, sad. That loss of mana, especially on a Naga Sea, which is actually incredibly important. But this is this item is one of those items that or that is normally sought after, especially on the Lich and any other caster-based unit. Coming back around, where is the Death Knight? Or is the Death Knight, or is this army ever going to actually explore that corner of the map? That is going to be an important, important decision as well. We see two abominations out here, three. Uh, three obsidian statues as well with two destroyers a third we could be going for a third destroyer here in just a moment but the bears should be very far behind there is also roar across multiple units so that should be easily devoured in a moment's notice all right mountain giants here ready to go big big damage right there getting in that damage right now let's take a look abomination is trying to engage meat wagons trying to stay alive fighting under the protection of two spirit towers as the obsidian statue is taking quite a bit of damage all right port lightning in the back dryad is going to try and engage are we going to see the death of a druid of the claw no staff of preservation saves right there meanwhile death knight saving with the death coil onto that abomination here all right staff of preservation saves again demon hunter and naga sea which both have staff of preservations as the one abomination gets taken down all right death knight trying to make its way through wfz is in serious trouble here and after losing um, losing an abomination and may end up losing a death knight thank you for the follow as the death knight now going after some of those remaining units death knight is still on blight has a potion of lesser invulnerability not really in danger of getting taken out as there is no mana or no easy way to deal a lot of range damage there mountain giant still pushing their way through one mountain giant actually very low on hit points and the Lich is still joining in on the spice, perhaps trying to put in a little bit of extra pressure. Mana burn onto the Death Knight. Staff of Preservation saves another Mountain Giant, but this Mountain Giant may not be so lucky. It may be forced to back up. Squirrel of Town Portal to try and back away, trying to cut the losses short. Xiao Shi Shi able to teleport back out, and that is a big, a big save. But looking at the Undead Army, sitting at 70 over 80 supply, he doesn't seem that far behind either. Meanwhile, Shade gonna go. Ahead. Let's take a look. 
70 compared to 92. Wow. All right, 92 supply for Xiao Shi Shi. He is only getting eight gold a second compared to 14 by his opponent. That is quite a big difference. And um, yes, you can take a look. The mountain giants off to the north. Uh, these mountain giants here, they are actually fairly low on hit points. You're going to see a couple of rejuvenations go down there. We needed to see a rejuvenation onto that mountain giant as well. These bears need to well finish off healing all of these mountain giants. And it is, well, trying to fill a, 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 a well with a faucet as there is just so much hit points on these mountain giants and rejuvenation normally heals for like i think 400 or 500 but when your outstanding hit points is 1600 it takes quite a bit of time leaving these druids of the claw in druid form is incredibly important but we do know that they need to transform back into that normal uh, into that bear fighting stance if they hope to deal any damage and not get picked off too quickly by those destroyers. All right, two destroyers in the back, three obsidian statues. Only one of the obsidian statues has mana as well, so that could potentially be a problem. And um, being having low mana obsidian statues, that is, um, well, not a situation you want to be in at all. Meanwhile, Nightfall ha has been coming through and these Moonwells now getting back up to full. All right, let's take a look. Going back down across over here, um, Demon Hunter now making its rounds back through destroyers here, ready to go. Abominations, Crypt Fiends making their way off to the north. Obsidian Statue is going to shift their way here. Shade keeping track of the Night Elf army. Xiao Shi Shi doing a good job making sure to know where everything is. Dru New Druids of the Claw coming in on the fight as we're looking at 82 supply here. Mountain Giant dives on in, taking a lot of damage. Will be forced to back up here as the Mountain Giant doesn't want to stick around. Staff of Preservation per could perhaps save it. But this is the problem here. Are we going to see anything? Demon Hunter going to try and engage here. Missing those targets here as the damage from those mountain giants. The abominations normally look very large. But in comparison, compared to those mountain giants, well, they are small. Destroyers, are they going to go straight after those Druids of the Claw? No, they're actually staying above here going after the mountain giants. The Druids of the Claw finally back in Drew or Bear form, giving them extra about 400 hit points. Now, as the battle is raging on, the Destroyer is going after some of those remaining units. A little bit of extra damage as an Abomination taking down Demon Hunter up to level 5. Level 5 Demon Hunter. Naga Sea with that level 3 Potion of Invulnerability used in time. Demon Hunter could be in trouble. No, he has a Potion of Invulnerability used as well. But how long is that going to last as the Demon Hunter cannot stick around for far too long? Demon Hunter overstays his welcome down to 130 hit points and gets easily finished off. Naga Sea Witch unable to use the Staff of Preservation as well. The Demon Hunter falling at level 5 is going to be a big deal. Naga Sea Witch is at 4 right now. Double Gloves of Haste. Lich sitting at level 3. It is suffering a lot of damage. Potion of Invulnerability being used as well while fighting on Blight. Perhaps those Gloves of Haste should be given to the Lich as it is dealing a lot of damage as well, especially with that negative armor debuff. Fighting their way through another bear going to get taken down. Lich could get up to level 4. Death Knight may want to try and get a Death Ball off onto that Lich soon. No, Lich is actually pretty good. Back up to full, but no, Lich in trouble down to 131 hit points going to be forced to try and retreat again as the obsidian statues are trying to heal bears are trying to make their way over but lich gets up to level four as the naga sea which says you know what i really overstayed my welcome let me back up 62 supply compared to 75 xiao shi shi still comes out ahead ever so barely this is um, my second second game for the day um, as we're looking at well mass druids of the clod gonna go into bear form and try and rejuvenate all right no use of the moonstone even though the moon wells some of them are fairly empty and i really think if wfz had used those destroyers to focus down the bears while they were still in druid form the fight would have gone much much better for him Yes, he may have had to expose his two or three destroyers to um, to the Dryads, but it didn't look like the bears were that far behind. And, well, while in Druid form, those Druids, uh, those Druids of the Claw have about 400 less hit points, making them that much easier to kill and burst down. Taking down two or uh, quote-unquote two and a half Druids of the Claw may have been enough to really swing the tide of that battle. But then again... We all know how difficult it is to do the right thing and control your units at the right time. 
uh, Naga best tavern hero now three races use it regularly well um not Naga is just a powerful hero because it in eight it gives you the ability to pick off units in battle if they are trying to flee. Um, Lich does the same thing with the Frost Nova, but the Naga Sea Witch um, is not nearly as mana intensive. Uh, I'm trying to think. Naga Sea Witch not normally used in Orc, and that's most likely because Raiders have that purpose already. So you don't want to overlap what your units are trying to do in, in battle when you could have um, free up your supply for something else. Mountain Giants fully upgraded. Three, three upgrades. That means the Bears are also fully upgraded um, too. Meanwhile, one Destroyer up in the air. Three Obsidian Statues down. Death Knight sitting at four. Lich is at four. Naga Sea, which is at four. And we could be going into an engagement at any moment. Raiders or Shaman. Yeah, Shamans with their Purge ability now. Uh, also allowing for a, a, a temporary type of hold. That Purge isn't quite the uh, same as an Ensnare. Um, as it doesn't stop channeling abilities, but it does kind of root them temporarily as well. Coming back, we see a Tree of Eternity making the slow march down across over here. I don't know why you would actually move your Tree of Eternity away from your Moon Wells. Your Staff of Preservations now are going to um, make it so that the Demon Hunter cannot easily heal back up and then rejoin in on the fight or any of the other units here. If we're looking, this Tree of Eternity d does not have Nature's Blessing. The armor is still at 2, not that plus 5 variety up to 7. And a couple of meat wagons have joined in here, but still no sign of, well, any sort of temple. So it's not going to be any sort of necro strategy as we're looking at dual slaughterhouse as well. Not quite sure why we need a dual slaughterhouse or dual crypt. Um, generally, production is not that heavily enforced. But then again, if you want to replace all of your units quickly, you may want to be trying for that as well. Smiling giants with trees for clubs. Anyone? Yeah, walk softly and carry a big stick. That is pretty much a mountain giant in a, in a summary. Famous quote by a U.S. president. Um, I'll leave it to my chat to see if they know which one it is without Googling it. Back across over here. Mountain giant going to be making its way out. Let's take a look. A couple of bears, dryads, um, and a forest troll berserker looking to back up here. And both sides really look like they want to make sure they do not end up getting into the wrong position. Um, that's exactly what you don't want to be doing right now. You don't want to fight out of position and give your opponent um, the advantage. The the at this stage in the game with resources being limited whoever whoever is able to take a decisive battle they're maybe they should be able to snowball regular regularly all right there it was a staff of preservation and you can see him just going next to the tree of eternity in pretty much an instant and there's not that many moon walls here abominations are going to be able to eat through all of these ancient of wars but you got to remember Xiao Xi Xi does have a handful of chimera roots in the back there goes you saw the uh, you saw the, the destroyer going straight after a druid of the claw that was still in druid form how quickly he melted there as the abominations are now in that front line all right meat wagons are in the back are they going to be able to do any sort of serious damage demon hunter in that front potion of invulnerability used in time staff of preservation as we said just teleports them right there as chimeras now show up to the party chimera should really be going after those abominations or those obsidian statues or meat wagons in the back you want to go after high priority targets that take extra damage and all of a sudden, Xiao Shi Shi for WFC says, you know what, I want nothing to do with those chimeras dealing 70 to 134 magic damage per attack. Interesting undead unit composition with them. Abominations and wagons. Spreading out all of that disease cloud um, does cause a little bit of slow as well. You can take a look. Normally, night elves regenerate hit points at night. However, the mountain giants and all of these units are actually still taking um, a little bit of damage over time. And they're, cons and they're still dropping um, slowly but surely. So they're losing about uh, one hit point every four seconds, even with better regeneration at night. If you are trying to turn this into a war of attrition, everything where your opponent is unable to get an advantage by retreating is a victory. 68 supply now for the undead. 4,500 gold um, left over here at the expansion. Meanwhile, no more mining left for Xiao Shi Shi. Xiao Shi Shi, what you see is what you get. 
and what you get is a 69 supply army with a couple of chimeras roar and well those druids of the claw will need a lot of rejuvenation to try and heal back up chimeras want to engage they also have that precious siege damage can they focus down any units i don't oh there are a couple of gargoyles in the air as well can they finish off these abominations that is the key point as there is a shade following things up here hippogriffs do have roar are we going to get perhaps some rejuvenation yes we are but they do need to go back into druid form here in just a moment chimeras with what plus 26 damage that's got to be huge at this point as you see the meat Wagon's now joining in on the fight. All right, Chimera's going to come in, come across. You can see that the Abominations, Mana Burn trying to come across here. Gargoyles going after the Hippogriffs, but that is taking them away from the Chimeras. Chi or the Chimeras could actually be going after the Obsidian Statues. They are not easily healed. They cannot be healed by um, any sort of uh, Death Coil. Demon Hunter now in a little bit of trouble. Potion of Invulnerability used in time as bears are falling as well. 51 supply compared to what I gotta believe is about a 60 supply army for the Night Elf, but some of these Mountain Giants are very low on hit points as well. Let's take a look at this Mountain Giant down to 72 hit points. Lich falls at level 4. Death Knight now trying to get away. Naga Sea Witch escapes at level 6. Death Knight now up to level 5 as the units are still dancing around. Low hit point Naga Sea Witch is just trying to get away as the units. What are going on there? Staff of Preservation saves. 43 over 90 supply here. Lich was taken down, but the problem is, well, that well, that Tree of Eternity now looks really small next to that, um, or the Chimera looks really small next to that Tree of Eternity, as we are unable to get any additional new units out of the Night Elf army. Shade still keeping track here. You can take a look. Um, a lot of low hit point Wisp right there. Naga Sea Witch there as well. Let's take a look. A little bit of... of a little bit of siege damage and a little bit of disease cloud gonna um, cause a bit of problems as we are looking at well chimera is doing their breast broodlore in impersonation able to attack from a very far distance and still deal very large damage indeed all right two chimeras here ready to go let's take a look at this meat wagon they may try and engage gargoyles are here overhead demon hunter getting in some big damage forcing that gargoyle to retreat back and the meat wagons are just really trying to reposition all of those units there. Cold arrows coming to crack across. Are we going to see Tornado? Maybe. Um, tornado would be a, a big, a big, powerful spell, perhaps throwing up some of those units into the air. Naga Sea Witch using Tornadoes instead of Scythe, instead of um, uh, Typhoons. Um, I really don't know why Death Quail now going down onto a Chimera. Chimera could be in a little bit of trouble. We should be looking at a, a possible rejuvenation attempt as well. As Well, the Chimera is, I guess, naturally immune to the disease cloud since they're never on the ground. Chimera is now making their way off to the north. And you can see the Nerubian Tower, Black Citadel. Those are actually two buildings that provide experience for um, uh, if they are destroyed. Now, that one shade keeping track of the army is a very big deal indeed, as that one shade is allowing the Death Knight to never really be out of position. Chimera is going to be coming across over here in just a moment. Where are they going to go? No, ma now making their way back down, as we see an Acolyte quickly getting finished off here. Naga Sea Witch, Demon Hunter, level 6, level 5. Lich is down across over here trying to, well, they tried to defend the main base, only to see that the army has come back to the opposite side. Demon Hunter now absorbing a lot of that damage in that front line spot. Spirit Tower going to get taken down very quick. Fork Lightning finishing off three of those Acolytes in a moment's notice as we see a Staff of Preservation trying to save some of those units. Forest Cold Berserker taken down. Gargoyle going to able to eat alive one of those Chimeras pretty quickly. Fork Lightning trying to finish things off again as the Naga Sea Witch escapes at 43, 37 hit points. What is going on? Demon Hunter now in big trouble. Is it going to be able to finish anything off as the Mountain Giant trying to taunt its way out of a tight spot? Naga Sea Witch able to slip away at 43 hit points. Meanwhile, Bear gets taken down. 49 supply over 70 as we are still mining away barely with three count them only three acolytes at this point a fourth one just now getting added in mountain giant is off over here druid of the claw stuff this naga sea witch sitting at level five did end up surviving this naga sea witch sitting at level six ends up surviving as well no more mining moon wells are bone dry 52 over 70 supply as the lich 
um, Death Knight, Naga, Sea Witch are going to be trying to work together again. There is the problem. There is no obsidian statue that I see. No, there we go. Trying to get up an obsidian statue again to keep this army alive and well. All right. Mining away pretty much at this point and stage in the game. WFZ knows that his opponent doesn't have any extra gold. Um, he has no way of mining any gold. So with that, he knows that he doesn't need to leave until he, he's gotten every bit of gold out of this um, location too. Cannibalize. All right, there's can oh, Cannibalize. Oh, Abomination that has Cannibalize. So we can always just go back to the graveyard and, and regenerate hit points that way. Obsidian Statue could be in big trouble. Down to 227 hit points, trying to get away. Demon Hunter kind of overcommits. Going to be in trouble. Stuff. Fork Lightning right there. Almost eats through many of those Gargoyles as those Gargoyles force to back up. Staff of Preservation saves. See what trying to slip away. Death Knight may try and get off a death coil, but not that much mana. Naga Sea Witch is not that fast either. Does have a staff of preservation though, but doesn't need to use it on the demon hunter. Back around here are gargoyles. Well, gargoyles go taking down their own meat wagons to free up supply and get every single bit of gold. All right. Um, now being able to get a little bit more gold again. We'll see what that's going to be used for. We have double gloves of haste on the Sea Witch. A double claws of attack on the Lich. Um, so faster attack speed here. A tree of life in a weird scouting position here. As the meat wagon going to finish it off. And now this is the downside of the Night Elf. Your buildings give your opponent experience. Even ever so slightly. There you go. 24 experience across all of those units here. Shade. Summoning. Mountain Giant, Naga or Naga Sea Witch sitting at level 6. Demon Hunter still sitting at level 5, just shy of 6. And this is still huge. Selling a scroll of healing at this point. What is he going to buy instead? Every bit of gold matters as the Wisp are heading off to the north. Uh, um, army size, that's um, army size 27 going up against 48. The Demon Hunter Naga Sea Witch uh, army is significantly smaller, but still trying to attack into a fortified position because more gold is still being offered. 1400 gold, Naga Sea Witch, Fork Lightning right there, hitting down a couple of those units. Demon Hunter could be in trouble. Are we going to see a Staff of Preservation saving that unit? There's a Mana Burn, there's the Staff of Preservation. Demon Hunter safe. And sound back at where is home? Oh, well, the Tree of Eternity even being brought over for that fight. All right, Mountain Giant could be in trouble. Mountain Giant goes into, or Bear goes into Bear form. Death Knight going to be able to finish that off. Cold Arrows there, but the Gargoyles finish off the Mountain Giant. And with that, I think WFZ has just a commanding lead. Now, not much can really be done. Only a level 6 Naga Sea Witch and a level 5 Demon Hunter. Uh, I've never thought I would say those words. Only a level 5 and only a level 6. But no Superman incoming. I believe um, Shao Shi Si saw the, um, f saw the writing on the wall. Um, I would have liked to see that game played out. Um, but unfortunately, we will not be. Better resource management. And well, really WFZ making the right decision not quote unquote not to go after um not to go after and, and try to push into his opponent's space was the big issue N great game nonetheless thanks for casting well, thank you for watching metaphysics um yeah there was that pendant of energy that was never picked up not exactly sure why but in the end it didn't matter wfz just was in control of played a long controlling game making sure to trade efficiently also used was able to pick off the chimeras with gargoyles when when they were trying to do that little bit of a push right there and i guess that was a little bit of a mistake by xiao shi shi he attacked with his back exposed to his opponent allowing him to get to those precious precious uh, chimeras far too easily thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it